we've checked the system, we've tested everything, we've put it all in a case, and now we want to install Windows 98 on this. Now, I've downloaded the disk. This is the Windows 98 SE OEM version. If you get the retail version, the CD-ROM is not bootable. If you get the OEM version, it is bootable. So we can boot straight from this. Well, we put this into the CD drive. We'll restart. We'll boot from the CD. And there's a few things that I want to do to speed up the process. Um, but I'm not going to be using a different system to speed up the process. I'm going to be just using this system, this CD-ROM. So I want to boot from the CD, but I'm not running setup yet. And there's a reason for this. Um, we've got a C drive. Nope. So we need to set up the drive using FDisk. First we're going to view it. It's NTFS. It's set up as an NTFS drive. Okay. So let's just delete this all. Not delete, blah blah blah. So I need to delete a logical drive. Okay, just going to delete everything there. Okay, and then we're going to create primary. Partition. You want to use the uh, maximum space, yep, and then it verifies it again. Okay, you must restart your computer. Okay. We'll restart. And we'll boot from the CD-ROM. We'll go to start any computer with CD-ROM support so that we can see if Drive setup. So F disk, yeah. Display partition. So we've got a primary partition. Okay. We oh, we've got a C drive, but it's not been formatted. CD doesn't include the format command. Okay, so we can't format C, so we're going to have to boot from the CD and start the setup. Start Windows 98 setup from CD. Okay, to set up Windows, press Enter. And it's giving us the option to format the C drive, which is what we want. This may take some time.
This system is quite old, and even though we can use a USB keyboard and mouse, it doesn't like the idea of booting from a USB drive. So, what I have used previously is a plot live Linux CD that you can download from the internet, burn to a CD. The computer will boot from this and then there is an option on this to boot from the USB. So say you've got a load of USB drives with tools on them or Windows installation files. This plot live Linux CD will let you then boot from USB drive even though this motherboard and system doesn't support booting from USB. Okay, we're at 100%, it's formatted. Now, shot car, we're going to stop here and we're going to do something different. We're going to install Windows 98 in a slightly different way. And this will or should make our Windows 98 experience on this machine ever so slightly better. And I will show you how. So. DIR gives you a list of what's in the current directory. We've got a C drive, which is the hard drive. We should have a D drive, which is the Windows 98 drive. Now, if we go back to C, we make a directory, Win98. We now have a Windows 98 directory on the hard drive. You might have worked out where this is going. If we copy the contents of the Windows 98 install from the CD to the C drive, like that, we will then, assuming I've got this right, I can't remember if I had to put a backslash there, assuming we got that right, then we can start the install from the hard drive and install Windows onto that hard drive. And then whenever Windows wants a file, it says, oh, you want to install something new, you please insert your CD so I can copy it from the CD. Instead of doing that, it will just go, oh, it's on the hard drive. And this is one of the things that can be quite frustrating with Windows 98 is it thinks oh you want an extra option that you forgot to install or you didn't choose at the time of installation and it says yeah you can have that say you forgot to install Outlook Express and then you decide you want Outlook Express it would then say oh I'll put it back in your Windows 98 CD whereas now once we've gone through this process um, it will just go oh I know where Windows 98 is it's on the hard drive I've still got access to those install files. And it should also speed up the Windows 98 install process because it's not having to read from a CD-ROM drive. And this is all with everything just in the computer as you saw it before with the hard drive, CD drive, everything there. No. USB devices. We haven't had to use another computer to do any of this. We can all just do this on this one computer and we can make our Windows 98 install process a little bit smoother. So, anyone know how many CAB cab cabinet files there are? I think we're nearly 
at the end. Yep. Okay. So we can eject the CD-ROM drive in theory. It might complain about that, but this is the CD out. I'm gonna put that in there till it falls over, obviously. And we want to go back to C and we have everything there. And then there is a setup in the Windows 98. Press enter and we can start our Windows 98 install. And it's normally a process that takes about an hour, but we will see. So 30 to 60 minutes, continue, yes. Do I have a mouse? No, I do not. But I do have a keyboard. And um, generally speaking, Most computers can read from the hard drive quicker than they can read from the CD-ROM drive. That's fine. We don't really care. I think that's a remnant of the fact that this hard drive was in a different system. We found this um, hard drive and the processor in a skip. Um, it was on a motherboard that had faulty capacitors. And then we put it together with some other parts we had. And we've effectively got a free PC. And um, we'll go for custom. A bit awkward without a mouse but let's have all of the multimedia let's have none of the online services let's not have outlook express we can always add these at a later date web tv for windows yep that was before the days of youtube so here you can see a windows 98 install needs 268 megabytes that is less than one gigabyte I mean, that's a quarter of a gigabyte. Let's have a look at what you're getting in. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at what was in each of these. I'm using tab to get to the different things. Let's have games. Quick view, yeah. Screen savers, let's have all of them. Not really fussed about a like, dress book. Mm. Just leave that on default. Do we want desktop themes? Windows 98, yes, we'll have a Windows 98 theme, internet tools, internet connection sharing, that's like sharing your internet from your mobile phone to something else, you could do that with a computer like this, you could have a dial up internet connection to share that on your network, personal web server, I don't think we need that. So let's go to next. Give it a computer name. I'm going to call this Mesh because that's the case. Um, go for United Kingdom and start copying files. So I mean that would have been quicker if we just click next and didn't go through those options. But now it's just copying the files from itself, from the hard drive to itself. 
and um, it's quite quick. CD drive's closed itself because I left it open. And we've made it to 100%. Setup is now ready to restart your computer. Remove all disks from floppy disk drives and click OK to restart. Restart now. So we're 26 minutes in. Um, and we've probably got another 15 minutes of setting up Windows 98. Although, how many times it does this kind of thing, and how many times you have to... Um, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> how many times you have to restart is... Uh, is questionable. So you think you're going to go back to Windows 98 or get started with Windows 98 but you're actually taken back to the setup screen. User information and here we need to put in the key and 18 minutes to go. And we don't have the mouse yet, but Windows 98 does support USB devices, so it's possible at some point the mouse will become compatible. We have the mouse. And is that the time? No, it is not. It is also not the year 2002. Oh, scroll wheel works. It's all going quite quickly. Uh, we're about 30 minutes in. Yeah. Yeah. Mouse is still working, so it's still going. Okay, let's restart. Let's see if we get to go into Windows 98. Let's see if we can get it to line up properly. Yep. Completed updating files, continuing to load windows. I haven't yet installed a sound card in this system. I do have one somewhere that I can put in. And you don't need to put in a password, and you can just escape past that. It's found the plug and play LA monitor, and Bellina, Bellinia monitor, which will just be a plug and play. Just click next. We won't bother with that. And it's got a driver anyway.
will we have to restart or will we get into Windows? Let's find out. Aha, we have, we have got into Windows. And it is very slow because it does not have drivers for the graphics card. But we'll see if we can increase the resolution. No, not until we've installed some graphic drives. Even though I said I didn't want online services, it's suggesting I should have them. And it suggests I should set up MSM Internet Access. Okay, so. We've got very little installed, which is nice. Got some games, Free Cell Hearts, Minesweeper, Solitaire, System Tools, this Defrag. Mm -hmm. Lots of other things. And you may think to yourself, ah, well, I've got USB. Microsoft um, Windows 98 supports USB. So you might think, okay, well, I'll put in a USB disk and um, I'll be able to install some drivers. So you put in a USB device and it says, oh, I found a new USB disk. I need some drivers. So before you can use a USB disk, you need to install the drivers. But if your drivers are on the USB disk, you can't get to them. So, for this situation, I have put Windows 98 generic USB drivers on a CD. So I'll cancel this and put in this CD. Another thing you need to be aware of is how you have formatted your USB drive. So let's unplug the USB drive and install the drivers for USB devices such as USB pen drives, things like this. And after most installs you need to restart. Let's see how quick it boots into Windows 98. That's about 20 seconds to get to that point. It's quite quick. So we've installed the USB, we can put a USB drive in. This is, oh, hang on a minute. I've got to look up my drivers. And it goes, ah, you have plugged in a USB mass storage device. I think that's a USB disk. So you go and have a look and you think, okay, there's my removable disk. Except you've formatted it with NTFS, which Windows 98 does not particularly like. So we have here an 8 gig USB drive that I have formatted as FAT32. Again, this is a ah, new disk. Let me install some drivers for it. And 
this one as a SanDisk cruiser has this extra bit. And here are all the things. We may even have some drivers for the graphics card that are plugged in. But we will do all of the driver installs off camera. And there we have a Windows 98 install.